that difficult to do with the or getting on a roll? Is it tough to come out of a game? Um, not really. Not when you play with a with a group of guys like um, like I get to play with, um, and that's be, that's for the whole team. But um, as far as running backs, you know, there's a real unselfish mentality in that room. Nobody cares who makes the play, who scores a touchdown, who gets the most yards, as long as it gets done. So that's just kind of a testament to how how close we are. Um, you know, like I've said many times before, if a running back makes a good play, you know, the whole the rest of the group is the first people out there on the field ready to celebrate with them. So we're also the the toughest critics on each other, but. This is kind of a testament to how close we are and you know, how successful we want to be and how we want to do whatever it takes to help the team be successful. What did you see on your long touchdown run? It looked like you made a pretty pretty big cutback to, to actually get to the hole before you broke it up. I mean, the O-line did a great job of opening up a great hole, and um, it was just up for me to make the cut and make the play. But um, those guys did a great job all, all game, the O-line, and they really set the tempo of the game. Uh, they moved the line of scrimmage, and um, they moved people in the run game, and they protected the quarterbacks inside out. So you know, we kind of have to give them credit for, for our success on offense because without them, obviously, we don't we don't have that same success. They so. had taken a little bit of heat, you know, the first three games. Did you see a different mentality? They wanted to come out and prove something against a, a highly rated defense like Vanderbilt's? I mean, they, they came out hot, and um, they played a physical game, a dominant game. So, I mean, I guess something that somebody said kind of was a little extra motivation for them. But, you know, like I said, they did a great job on Saturday of, of um, kind of setting our offense up for success. Bo told us he's slowing down the game. So does he run any differently? Do you see anything different with his game that he's now been able to lose a little bit of weight? Um, I mean, it's kind of hard to, to critique his game. I mean, he's such a physical runner, such a great runner. I mean, I don't know. That's kind of you. Kind of have to ask him that. But I mean, his production has just been, you know, incredible. He he's tough to bring down. Um, he's a physical freak. So I don't really know if there's much of a difference. Um, but like I said, he's he's just talented. There's no other way to put it. How do you get a feel for how Brian's calling this offense now? Four games in, kind of the rhythm from what you guys get in. As far as an, even an identity on offense. Um. Sure. <laughs> um, I don't. I mean, I don't know. He likes to run the ball. He likes to pass the ball. I mean, I think those are the two things you have to do on offense. But um, I don't really know what his style is, what his, what he prefers to do. I guess if that's what you're asking. But I mean, he puts us in the best position to, to win. And um, he he's called a great couple games so far. And I'm um, you know, really glad to have him as our offense coordinator. You know, you didn't worry about stats, but you've got six touchdowns and three times as much as last year. Is that something that you you can appreciate at least, or do you like? I mean, obviously, like being in the end zone. Um, I mean, yeah, when you score touchdowns, it's kind of fun. But um, I'm not really that worried about it. Like I said, the stats don't matter. And um, we don't really care who makes the play as long as the play is made. How would you assess your performance so far, though? Um, I don't know. I would rather you ask somebody else that question. <laughs> like maybe Coach Saban or Coach Burns. You guys haven't had a turnover since the Auburn game. If you had to sum up why y'all have done so well protecting the ball, what, what is it? Um, it's just a mindset. Um, if you don't turn the ball over, you automatically give yourself a better chance to win. And we look at it at the reports every week. Teams with the plus turnover margin usually have more success. So you know, that's just a, that's just something that we really focus on, offensively protecting the ball and defense. You know, getting the ball out and getting turnovers. So we like to play off of each other. But if defense gets a turnover, we like to keep the ball and turn it into points. And you know, vice versa. If we hold on to the ball, then the defense wants to go go out and get more balls out and uh, give us more of a chance to, to score more if points. You, if you do put the ball on the ground, do you kind of dread going over to the sidelines with Coach Saban? Something he hates. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you your emphasis on that this week, considering the last time Ole Miss came here, that was kind of the story of the game that the turnovers. Um, not necessarily, um, because it doesn't really matter who we play, um, what game we're playing in, um, our our points of what we think we need to do to win the game are always the same. Uh, we want to play dominant. We want to protect the football at all costs, and uh, we want to have positive plays on offense and defense and special teams. So, you know, whatever our whatever we think we need to do to win the game, it doesn't change based on who we play. You know, it's just about what we do. After the game, on that 60, you were talking about the 61-yard touchdown. But you mentioned how when you got to the third level, you had thought about certain things that that uh, you didn't finish last year. How much did you hear from fans in the offseason? about that? Was that motivation at all this year going into it? 
Um, forget the fans. I heard enough from my own teammates last year. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's something that I tried to work on in the offseason, um, something that I always keep in the back of my mind. So, you know, I was just able to finish the play on Saturday. You also said you were going to take your uh, line out or anything. Mm -hmm. uh, Ross said that you hadn't talked about it yet. So uh, what's, what's the plan? Well, I hadn't seen them until today. And, you know, still Ross is the only person I've seen. And he kind of ambushed me while I was up there <laughs> on the stage. But, um, you know, I'll get with those guys and see what they want to do. Um, we can do a little we can do a little dinner somewhere or you know, whatever those guys want to do. It's up to them. He's going to go high roll and the, the Palmas are uh, chucks. Are you ready for that? I don't really think I have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> if you have any thoughts on the, the NFL players and the statements made yesterday. Do I have any thoughts? Yeah. Um, I think everybody has some thoughts on it, um, whether you're for or against or whatever your stance may be. But, you know, I don't really think now's the time to, to discuss that. I'm more focused on um, what we have to do this week in order to beat Ole Miss. You're a, a pretty politically aware guy. You know, you know what's